So I've removed the trim, the aluminum trim. And this piece is actually quite large. Do a close up. So what they did in the old days is they put they put this kind of like gummy they still manufacture this they use it in refrigerator uh, refrigeration type things too it's kind of like a duck seal and they would put it here and then seal it that would be the only seal and you see when you pick it off there's no sealant in, in actually inside that seam so they didn't have silicone so what I've been doing is siliconing the seam and you can see that I've been applying silicone inside that seam instead of externally only This is a marine grade sealant. It's a sealant adhesive sealant. Um, it's about 20 some dollars a tube. This is a staple that I've removed. This is a staple I've removed. So they staple it as well before they put the screws in. This one's corroded. I take a screwdriver that is uh, uh, will fit underneath the staples so you have to kind of work it in there and hammer it up and sometimes you have to go from the top too and then you take like a needle nose and just pull it out I've went ahead and lifted up the seam so I take a putty knife. Oops, wrong tool. So I take a putty knife and just bend it up like this. And you can see how dirty it is. So that all has to be cleaned, which I'll so show that in the next step. But the first thing I do after lifting the seam up is clean this gunk off you can see this is where I've cleaned already and you have to use an adhesive remover uh, dissolver where it dissolves the adhesive so you can rub it off there's a few products that do that so and that worked really well to get the adhesive off the aluminum and also the dirt I went ahead and used the adhesive remover on this surface and then I also use the adhesive remover in the seam. And you, what I do is put a, the adhesive remover on a washcloth and then just push the washcloth that's dampened with it up in the seam. And then it, it dissolves any adhesive that might be up in the, in the seam area here. So I use the remover inside and out. Okay, so after folding it, I push it up into the seam and then just move it back and forth. And after a while, it actually goes up farther into the seam so <coughs> so I push it into the seam and just keep moving it back and forth like this of course I'm doing it with one hand so it's more efficient with two and then sometimes I flip it over just to get a different action of sanding so Anyway, I've got to do the whole seam and 
then I can go ahead and clean it up with denatured alcohol inside here and then I can go ahead and apply the sealant. I have went ahead and cleaned the seam with denatured alcohol. I cleaned under here so I've sanded it already and so that's all sanded and cleaned with uh, denatured alcohol. goes all the way. So the next step is to silicone it from starting from here. The silicone up in here and to make sure it goes all the way up so it's not just right here it goes all the full length up. So you have to get a little nozzle to push to make sure the silicone goes all the way. And then you have to take the hammer and bend this back down after you get all the silicone in there. Then after that, you take a screw you take this screw and tighten it down and that'll snug the, the metal right against the other piece. And then after you do that, you have to take a putty knife or whatever device that works the best and make sure that the space between each screw hole is pushed down flat because sometimes it'll this will be flat and then it'll bow out till you go to the next hole so you have to make sure it's flat all the way down it's kind of a timely thing to do but it needs to be done so I'm going to go ahead and do that and hopefully when I'm done it'll look like this does here. Okay, so today I went ahead and finished sealing the top half. It just goes the whole length of the roof. And what will happen is, when I get ready to put the trim back on, I'll just take a utility knife and cut right against this edge here and remove the excess. It's right. So the next section that needs to be cleaned and sealed is right along here.